Poland said on Monday that a drone entered its airspace early on August 26 during a Russian bombardment of neighboring Ukraine. According to Ukrainian media reports, the drone crossed the border of Poland in the direction of the Chervonograd region of Ukraine and disappeared from the radars near the city of Tyshovs after flying 25 kilometers deep into Poland's territory. The Polish military command sent fighter jets and helicopters in the direction where the drone was intercepted. However, they were unable to find the UAV. The object disappeared from the radars around 25 kilometers deep into Polish territory, General Maciej Klisch, operational commander of the armed forces, said in a televised speech. Klisch added that the flying object most likely is an unmanned aerial vehicle from Russia. The Polish army has started a search operation for an unmanned flying object in the country's territory. Ukraine used drones to attack an airbase in Russia's Volgograd region in an escalation of its long-range strike campaign. The Wall Street Journal reports that Ukraine said the strike targeted fuel depots and glide bombs which Russia has made a key weapon in its recent offensive to poke holes in Ukrainian defenses. Russian authorities in Volgograd said a drone crash had sparked a fire at a military airbase in the town of Marinovka. Ukraine relies on explosives, domestically produced drones, to strike deep into Russia because it has few long-range missiles of its own and is barred by the United States and other partners from using their long-range missiles inside Russia. In recent weeks, Ukraine has launched a series of strikes against Russian air defenses, fuel and ammunition depots and aircraft. At the same time, Ukraine is calling on the United States to give itself a free hand by allowing the use of American-made missiles known as ATACMS in Russia. Our Ukrainian drones work exactly as they should, but there are things that cannot be done with drones. Unfortunately, we need other weapons, missiles, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said. The intensified drone campaign in Ukraine comes as Kyiv's forces seek to consolidate control over a swathe of Russian territory they seized during a lightning invasion of the Kursk region. Zelensky said Russia's muted response to the Kursk incursion showed that Western fears of escalation were exaggerated. If our partners lifted all current restrictions on the use of weapons on Russian territory, we would not need to physically enter in particular the Kursk region to protect our Ukrainian citizens in border settlements and eliminate Russia's potential for aggression. Any further delay on the part of our partners in long-range weapons de facto becomes, perhaps, the most effective support for Russia's offensive potential, Zelensky said. The Biden administration eased restrictions on the use of American weapons after Russia invaded the northern Ukrainian region of Kharkiv again in May, allowing Kyiv to fire artillery and short-range missiles from HIMARS launchers at command posts, weapons depots and other targets across the border. But the policy did not give Ukraine permission to use long-range ATACMS missiles inside Russia. Since then, 
Ukraine has stepped up its drone strikes. But by targeting air bases deep inside Russia, Ukraine could force Moscow to move its air defense systems away from frontline areas. Drone strikes could also prompt Russia to move some of its fighters and strike fighters to bases much further from Ukraine. That has already reduced the frequency of glide bomb missions by forcing them to fly farther, on average toward their bases, Bronk said.